Paul, a very impressive 5 1 opening day win. Talk us your thoughts on the game. I, I think it was uh, very much in the balance for, for the first 20 25 minutes. Uh, we've gone in at half time 2 1 up. I, th I think we deserve to be 2 1 up. Um, but it was definitely one of those games, certainly with the rain that came down as well. I thought at one point we're getting canoes out. Um, but yeah, it was one of those games where it could have gone any, either way uh, for, for the first half hour or so. And I think once we came out in the second half and scored quite early, that sort of put our stamp on it. Um, I'm, I'm so, so impressed with how hard the boys worked. They worked really, really hard throughout it and they concentrated throughout it and they did exactly what they were asked to do. So uh, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Yeah. Having gone 1-0 down, um, you scored almost immediately after going 1-0 down. Um, how happy are you to see the team fight to get a comeback like that straight away? Yeah, I mean, that's the reaction you want, isn't it? I mean, you consistently work in training about what if, what if, what if. And certainly one of the things we would talk about is what if they score? What if we have a man sent off? What if these things happen? How do we respond to it? Uh, we spoke about it at length, actually, this week. So to see the guys literally go back up the pitch and score at the other side, uh, that's one which just puts a smile on your face. And delighted to see, but, you know, we've, we've so many characters in the changing room. We've so many really really strong strong personalities who you feel that you've got a, a real a real sense of togetherness and a real sense of drive that that's there for them and, and they'll do that for us so fantastic really good you scored two goals from set pieces today um, is that something you've been working on training i think like everyone yeah i mean we we, we do our work uh, we've done quite a bit on set plays because i think we're a big side uh, you know uh, I think any manager comes to a game and looks at the opposition on a Saturday uh, and sees them warming up and decides are they big or are they small. Uh, I think if you look at us at the minute, we, we, we've got big, big units and, and we've worked on that. And we, we try to make that part of our advantage. So yeah, we, we've done a little bit and to see them come off and to see a score from it, uh, really delighted with that. Yeah. I saw a defensive, de de defensive display at the back from Chris Ramsey today. Um, you captain of the club as well. Um, how impressed are you with his arrival? Oh, Chris, oh, unbelievable. Uh, he has just come in and fitted in uh, like a hand in a glove. He really has. He, he just he epitomises what we're trying to do. His professionalism, his desire, everything that he does is about getting better and improving. And at the age of 31, he's still coming and saying, what do I need to do better? What do I need to do to improve? And, and that's the type of person that we want around the club, not only player, but person. And when you watch him on the pitch, you listen to him, you see what he does for us. Uh, and that's starting to, to bleed into the rest of the team. You hear other players uh, starting to talk in the same way that he does. That, that brings us something absolutely phenomenal and uh, I can't sing his praises enough. An immediate impact off the bench from Andy Murray today. Um, was that a tactical sub or just a change in the team shape? Yeah, well, it wasn't so much a, a shape change. I mean, Joe had been working really, really hard. He'd got a wee bit frustrated. He'd got his goal. Uh, he'd got on the end of a couple and the, the frustrated him. And we knew he would continue to give us the hard work. So to move him out to a wider area, just to keep on working hard, Andy Mooney is just one of those guys. Uh, the ball falls to him and he knows exactly where to be and it ends up in the net. Um, we are so delighted for him because he has had his wee ups and downs during pre-season and he got a bit frustrated uh, when he wasn't scoring goals and, and he was a wee bit concerned. Are they coming? I, I think I think you'll see Andy Mooney will score plenty of goals for us. Looking on the chase, now he's your plan institute. Um, how he's going to approach this game? Uh, well, we've started our work on it already. Obviously, we've had them watched on a number of occasions. Uh, we had our scout there again today, and we know how good they'll be. We know how organised they'll be. They've had a disappointing result today. They've been beaten five by Dirkview, and uh, that's going to ask for a response. You know, uh, they're, they're, they're certainly Sean's going to go in and regroup and, and look at the, the brandy well and how well they can play on that big pitch. And they're going to try to move the ball and they're going to try to, to, to be aggressive with it. So, you know, we, we've done our homework on them. We, we're back in tomorrow morning for another session to look at what we'll do on Tuesday night. Uh, and all of the players are, are really excited by it. And that was the message we gave them straight after the game today. It's over. We've won one game. <laughs> it counts for nothing. You know, it sounds great. Yeah, we've won, but it's, you know, it means nothing. Long way to go to the end of the season. Super Bowl, thank you very much. Thank you very much.